Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 56 of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, if you saw in the last part, I just beat Drake, the last member of the Elite Four, and all that's left is the champion. I got everybody fully healed, so let's hope for the best. Why does the scary way have to be so long? They would have quit halfway through. Welcome, Bonga! That incident in Sotopolis City, that was superb work, putting an end to that crisis all by yourself. Oops. It wouldn't be fair to say that you alone ended the crisis. Uh, yeah, it would. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokémon. We trainers raise Pokémon by giving them items and by teaching them new techniques for battle. But we ourselves also learn many things from Pokémon. And this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now! Who can most elegantly dance with their Pokémon and Hoenn? Show me right here and now! Alright, this is it. The championship match with Wallace of all people. In Ruby and Sapphire, you'll be fighting Steven instead of Wallace. Okay, so he's gonna start with Wailord. That is one big whale. Make a lot of blubber out of you with Thunderbolt. I am kind of disappointed that the champion pretty much uses a single water type kind of group. Okay, now you're gonna use Rain Dance. The bad news is his water Pokemon are gonna be a little bit more powerful. Some of them actually get faster. The good news is. Thunder has 100% accuracy. So he kind of shot himself in the foot right there. And I'm going to Thunderbolt him in the ass. There's Wailord won't be able to withstand Thunder. Neither did WCW. That didn't withstand Thunder either. Moving on! Ah, uh, Gyarados. Okay, so water and flying. Thunderbolt alone would have done the trick. But I think I'll just use Thunder anyway, because I can. Just for the sake of overkill. There we go, and that should be two. Four more to go. Things are looking good. Ah, uh, Whiskash. Ugh, Toadstool is gonna have to do that one. She's only at level 45. That's pretty much suicide at this point. But I know what I'm doing. Rain continues to fall, I don't care. I'll start with a stun spore. Good, paralyzed. Oh, great. Whizcash knows Amnesia, so special defense is going to go up. Luckily, physical defense is unaffected whatsoever. So, why don't I go use Sky Uppercut? And miss. I missed a paralyzed Pokemon. Wow, I feel so proud of myself. Alright. Oh, the rain stopped. Sure, you can... Why are you pumping up your Hanesia? I'm not even using any special moves. Well, since you're gonna be like that, I think I'll try using my X attack. Ah, Surf, I'm not worried. Not very effective. No, I think I'm gonna heal that anyway, just for the sake of staying protected. Ah, Soda Pop is just enough. Ah, oh, Hyper Beam! I should have went for another Sky Uppercut. Oh good, I survived that! Now I get a free turn. Now I gotta recharge. Oh good, I can take out that Whiskash. So far, Wallace has not used a single full restore, and he has four. And he's gonna go with his best Pokemon already, Milotic. I'm Milotic, I'm sorry. I forgot I pronounced it wrong. Whatever. 
Okay, I don't want to use Mega Drain because Milotic Special Defense is really high. Try to go for a Sky Uppercut, and well, obviously that's not going to happen. Oh well, I guess I'll have to go with Overdrive again. Okay, so technically this is his fourth Pokemon. Ah, Thunder Mist. Now he's just going to spam Surf. Now let's go for another Thunder. Good, this one connected. I'm so glad I got plenty of Max Revives. Ha! Huh, paralyzed. Ooh, but that means defense, or special defense, goes up a bit higher. Thanks to a special ability called Marvel Scale. Let me try another Thunder. Ah, good, I connected. There we go! Milotic is down, and why did I get a critical hit after I knew a normal attack would have done the trick? Every single time it happens. To no end whatsoever. Tentacruel. Oh, Tentacruel is actually going to be pretty tough. Good, I got to go first. I mean, that Pokemon is known for being a little bit fast. Oh my god, we stood a thunder. Oh good, I missed a Hydro Pump. I'll just use a single Thunderbolt this time. Because I know he was going to use one of his full restores. Eh, I think a Thunderbolt can do the trick. Okay, and with Tentacruel down, that only leaves one Pokemon left, and that's Ludicolo, the good old Mexican Pokemon. Uh, no, I think that's good. You know, I think I might have mentioned this in a previous Pokemon LP, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but why is it that the trainers you go against, champion or not, they never use revives of their own. Why is that? Do they try to make it too easy or something? Like, maybe there would've been a hacked version where they use a max revive or something and say, I wanna- No, you didn't. Oh, fuck. It would happen eventually. Unfortunately, Ludicolo is quite fast, so I'm gonna have to use an Icy Wind. I'm gonna have to fix that up. Oh, good. Speed is down. Hmm... Well, this is the last Pokémon I can afford to be a little bit reckless. Use an Ice Beam. Got him! Ah, I got a critical. So my Ice Gold did the finishing blow. Sweet! I only brought you in for one gym, too! And already you're my MVP. Well, not really an MVP, more like a finisher. So I'm the new champion! I, the champion, fall in defeat. That was wonderful work. You were elegant, infuriatingly so. And yet, it was utterly glorious. Kudos to you, Bonga. You are a truly noble Pokemon trainer. Yeah, damn right. That could have been a little bit tougher than I thought. The Pokemon you sent into battle. At times, they danced like a spring breeze, and at times, they struck like lightning. It was with light, yet unsurfooted elegance or unsure-footed elegance, that you led your Pokémon. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. You now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokémon League. I now proclaim you to be the new Hoenn region. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? Bonga! Here's some advice before you challenge the, ch the champion. Oh, you're a little late. Huh? What? 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 Bonga, could it be that... It's already over? See? What did I tell you, May? Didn't I tell you that you don't need to worry about Banga? Banga, you've finally done it! When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Petalburg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you've actually become the champion! Ah, yes. What became of your Pokedex? Here, let me see. Mm-hmm. So you've seen 155 Pokémon, and you caught 67 of them. Instead of just catching Pokémon, how about making them evolve too? 
Um, instead of just talking, how about shutting the fuck up? Anyways, congratulations! Now, go proudly into the final room. Banga? No, let me rephrase that properly. The new champion, or Mr. Sexiness of Awesomeness. Come with me! I'm sorry, but from here on, only men can be allowed to enter. Uh, you got a vagina? Stay here, okay? Oh, okay, guys, no, it's actually because I'm the champion. Oh, I'm just joking, that's okay. That's the rule. Banga, honestly, congratulations. Funny, how come I never got to take on Mei very late in the game? This room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevail through harsh battles. It is here that the League Champions are honored. Come on, let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League, and the names of the partners who battled with you. Oh, okay. Time to enter them into the Hall of Fame. Okay, it's telling me not to turn off the power, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, there's my overdrive. And my KFC. Oh, oh, wait, that's Jaws over there. Look at that, there's my Toadstool. And Ice Skull. And finally, my Mirage. That's my winning team right there. It may not be the best Pokemon team in the world, but it's good enough. Yeah, it took me 48 hours and 45 minutes of gameplay. Thank you, fast forwarding. So yeah, even though this is the end credits, it's not really over. There's actually a whole lot more I can do now, seeing as how I beat the Elite Four. I can go get some legendaries, Technically, I could have gotten Rayquaza early, like after the whole apocalypse got stopped. But really, I can do that now if I wanted. I also need to go after Kyogre and Groudon, and the Reggie Pokemon. And there's also some other areas that are available. I think I can also go to the Battle Frontier, too, if I cared about it. Like, I could try it out, but I know I won't win. Also, not only do trainers in the match call want rematches, but now you can get gym leaders to rematch you. They're all going to be double battles, but each time they get stronger, and some some of them, actually all of them, use Pokemon that you could not even catch in the Hoenn region. So you'll see some familiar faces that can probably give you a run for your money, if you're not careful. Unfortunately, getting gym leaders rematches is a very long, difficult course. It takes a good while. Like, you can probably play through all the extra side stuff and never, ever get a rematch. It's going to be so annoying, but I commit myself to try to get as many rematches as, as I can until I say, screw it, I don't care, and then I'll just go over to Meteor Falls, take on Steven for an extra matchup that's going to have level 70 Pokemon. So yeah, he's going to be the toughest battle you're going to have. So anyways, we'll just go through the credits for no reason because we can. And then I'll just go through all the Pokemon that I've caught and collected. And a nice little slideshow, mind you. with you, but I don't think Little Root had that many houses. I could have swore there was only two in a lab. Are they doing so much development while we were gone? Makes you wonder. Why does everybody have their lights on? Shouldn't they be gone to bed? The end. Or is it? Oh yeah. Like I said before. There's more. 
And I end up here for no reason. Hey, there's the family! I thought you guys were divorced! Hmm? Hey, it's Banga. It's been a while since I saw you, but you look... stronger somehow. That's the impression I get, but your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh, yes. I have something for you. This came to you from someone named Mr. Briny. Ah, the SS ticket. I can use that for later. Hmm, a ticket for a ferry? If I recall, there are ferry ports in Slateport and Lily Cove. I better get back to Pedalburg Gym. Mom? Wait, her name is actually Mom? Thanks for looking after the house while I'm away. You married your mother? That dad of yours. He comes home for the first time in a while, but all he talks about is Pokemon. He should relax and stay a little longer. Says you. Is that a breaking news story? Okay, I'll press my eyes to the TV just to watch. In various Hoenn lo locales, there were reports of a bzzz-colored Pokemon in flight. The identity of this Pokemon is currently unknown. We now return to you to your regular movie program. Ah, great. I don't want to watch more afternoon porn. Bonga, did you catch that? What card did the announcer say that Pokemon was? Unfortunately, you can only choose between red and blue. I'm gonna go with... blue. So in other words, I'll have to... The Pokemon that's gonna be running for me is Latios. Well, well, Bonga. That was good work out there. I knew there was something special about you when I first saw you, but I never expected this. Oh, yes. Do you still have the Pokedex I gave you? I have something to show you. Let's go to my lab. Okay. Now, Banga and Mei, I've had the two of you help me study Pokemon. Thanks to your help, new facts are coming to light. It appears that in the Hoenn region, there are also Pokemon from other regions. It goes to show how rich and varied the natural environments of Hoenn happen to be. That's why I think it's necessary for me to upgrade your decks to the national mode. Okay. So, by getting the national decks, you can also trade between Pokémon from Fire Red and Leaf Green. It's so cool that even my Pokédex is getting upgraded! It's because you went out and caught so many Pokémon, Bonga! Yeah, it's all me. Get used to it. Ah, upgraded to the national mode. But listen, you've become the champion. But your Pokémon journey isn't over. There is no end to the road that is Pokémon. Somewhere, there is a grassy patch that's waiting for you. Didn't Jimi Hendrix say the exact same thing? Or something like it? Oh, you stick around? Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the match call, see what's available. Oh, I can get some ribbons. Oh, that's pretty much for Hall of Fame stuff. Let's see what's available. Let me give you a call. Oh, you need some more time before you can reopen the gym? Okay, so at some point, these gym leaders are gonna challenge me to a rematch. It's not as simple as walking to their... walking to the towns and triggering them. Actually, I got a whole lot of rematches to do here, but I don't think that's gonna be on footage. When I do record, it's gonna be for important stuff like catching legendaries, doing other stuff. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, I still got that 8th trick house to do. So in the next part, I'll probably start something big, or something that you can now do. Maybe the Safari Zone, for instance, and well... Next part, I'll probably take care of some loose ends. Thanks for watching.